I'm a tuba judge and I'm so glad, I'm so excited, I'm so blessed, praise God, to be bringing God's truth to you today. Hey, listen, today is a day of miracle. I know, I know, I know, praise God. Woo! Yesterday was amazing. And I feel that same spirit at work today. Can you just open your heart to him? I told you, it's not about what is written. Is about he. He is here. He is here. He is here. Praise God. Are you ready to call forth your daily bread now? Make that request because he's here. He's here to meet it. What do you want? What do you want this weekend? What do you want today? No, what do you want? Are you that one that is wondering what am I going to eat today? Oh, you're going to eat in abundance. You're going to have abundance to eat. You will have abundance to eat. Praise God. That's what I hear the Lord say. Bills will be paid. This is the end of the month. Bills are being paid. Praise God. There's a supply of God coming your way. Hey, listen. It doesn't matter how high the price of things go. They cannot get as high as the most high. Praise God. And who supplies your need? The most high. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There is no limitation with him. Imagine the most high. So, oh, the price of things are so high now. <laughs> yes, they are so high. I receive supplies from the most high. Glory. So it comes from afar above the price of things. Praise. So he looks down on us and he knows the price of things. He supplies us sufficiently to counter the whatever price, praise God. So don't be afraid. Say, I, I wish I had bought that thing. I, I you know, I, I wish I got that stuff, you know, last week. I wish I did this. I wish I filled my tank. I wish I did this. No! You can do it today. <laughs> Praise God. You can do it today. Just release your faith right now. Say, Father, I receive. I receive my daily bread today. Right now. In Jesus' name. That's all. That's all. What should I do next? You've done it. What if um, I'm thinking eh, it does not come? Hey, Father, I asked you for my daily bread. Today I'm waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, that's what to do. Because you must show you have an expectant heart. That's it. It's not working. No. No, why would it, it work? I know who I'm dealing with. He's the Lord. He is God. <laughs> he is God. He is God. Lord, I ask for daily bread today. It's 12 noon. I've not seen it yet. For adventure, the person. I pray like that sometimes. I say, Lord, if, if you've sent someone to get this, then the person is delayed. Lord, can you send someone else? I tell you, I pray like that. So, and I see, I see it happen. I've seen angels minister to me. I've seen God provide. Oh, yeah, Lord. I am God. Is there anything too hard for me? That's what he said. And guess what? It is your life that will show men that there is nothing too hard for him. Nothing. 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 It's the end of the month. Am I going to meet my budget? Oh, yeah. You will meet your budget. Why? Because you shall not lack. You shall not want. See that? You shall not. You shall not want to pay your bills. You shall not want to, 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 to stock up your house. You shall not want for bread. You shall not want for whatever. Whatever. Oh, some of you, your mortgage is, so oh, I, I need to meet the demand for the month. You shall not want. If I you better start believing God to, to, to play off that mortgage. Father, I receive. No, I didn't know this. I would have asked you for the house. But now, Lord, I receive finances to clear up this mortgage. And the Spirit of God will begin to direct you. See, you must be specific. Everything. Roll it over onto the Lord. I, I, days ago, I told me I wanted to buy a laptop, and I began to ask the mind of God concerning. That's what I do concerning everything. You want to buy clothes? 
You have the money, yes. You don't just walk in a shop and say, you know, I, that, this is high reason. I want to buy the clothes God wants me to wear at a certain time. I want it. I don't just want to live like, I want to wear, because that's how we carry favor. You don't know God is concerned about all those things. He is. So you look at the tree, and at a certain time of the year, the tree, the leaves of the tree becomes dry. It sheds the leaves, and then new ones begin to grow. You think that's, that's some, some climate, cli climate thing happening? That's God's ordained system walking in that tree. Hey tree, it's time to wear new clothes. So take off those old ones and wear new ones. Yes. You don't know God can do that to you. God can speak to you and say, look, clear your wardrobe. It's time to wear new clothes. Hey, I wish I had the money. I would have I got the thing has been in my heart to just that I don't have the money. Hey! Who supplies? Him. Not your job. Not your job. Not your job. No, not your job. You see, you, you begin to think that, ah, this month, mm, I cannot buy clothes this month. I have to. This month, I've already designated my pay. So let me leave this clothes thing till next month. You see what you've done? You've moved the miracle to next month with your mouth. Father, I receive grace. What did he say? He's able to make all grace. Right? Father, you said, I should, Jesus said it, I should take no thought for my life what to wear. I shouldn't take thought. So Lord, you know what? I'm not going to take thought what to wear. Rather, I roll that care and that thought over to you. Lord, I need new clothes. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I need new clothes. And then you're just, just living your life. And one day you just hear the Holy Spirit say, clear out your wardrobe. And Lord, I say I need new clothes. You say I should clear out my wardrobe. Clear out your wardrobe. Ha, Lord. And when the new ones come now, clear out my wardrobe. Clear out your wardrobe. Now what's going on? The power of the Holy Spirit is working in you. Because that's what he produces, his voice. So, so don't think the power of the Holy Spirit just enters you and oh, mm. just walk to your wardrobe and start clearing them out. <laughs> no, sir. The, the power, the submission of every walk of God in your life produces his voice or his word. So when you hear clear out your wardrobe, that's the power of the Holy Spirit working in you. Yes. Oh, what about people that don't hear God? Then they don't belong to him. They don't belong to him. Jesus said, my sheep hears my voice. Mm. So, if you don't hear his voice, you're not a sheep. Yes, you're not. I'm challenging you to get to your closet and say, Lord, I like, ah, I'm yours. Okay, my ears are open. Speak to me. Yes, that's what you're supposed to do. No, oh, let me let me look for a pastor who will prophesy to me. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. My sheep hears my voice. So if you have received the Holy Spirit, the job he is doing in your life is sound in his word coming to you. When he's bringing you healing, it is his word that will come to you. When he's changing your finances, it is his word that will come to you. That's how it works. So you just say, you just say, you know what? The money in your account, clear it and give it to so and so. Mm -hmm. What has happened to you? His word has come. Now you not say, hey, God wants me broke. Hey. No, no, no. You have been asking him to increase your blessing. You have been asking him to prosper. You, you have been asking him for growth financial growth you have been asking him for all that now the word has come to you i'm not telling you what the preacher says no you go to church the preacher i said hello if you go and clear your account uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. you hear this one yourself as you fellowship with him now this is why you must pray in the spirit when you're praying in the spirit what do you expect what do you expect i, I told you yesterday your marriage is supposed to be 
increasing in excellence, not diminishing. Not the whole, eh? man, if I had known better, I wouldn't have married the wife I married. Though. No! Rather, Lord, how do I tackle this situation with my wife? It's giving me some concern. I think there's a problem. We're heading towards a problem in my marriage. So Holy Spirit, I need your help. You, you, you said it's not good for a man to be alone. You know? I'm not supposed to be alone. You, know? you said now it happens sometimes as a man. You just find you just find yourself beginning to desire other people. Yes, and that's where cheating starts from. But what do you do? You see, at that moment, the devil will begin to lie to you. So you see. Now you're feeling it. Now you know that that's what every man does. All men cheat. Forget all these things that they are doing. Every man cheats. So I say, Lord, Lord, what do I do? Then the word of God will come to your spirit. It says, let her breast satisfy you. Now that word, you, you don't just see it as words. Let her breast satisfy you then the power of the Spirit will begin to walk in you. And then I say, her breast will satisfy me. Now notice, satisfy me. You know, when you're eating and you are full, when you go outside and they offer you meal, what do you do? Oh, even if you desire the meal, you just like, I don't have where to put it. And that's exactly what that scripture says. Be satisfied. Lord, I let your spirit walk in me. That I'll be satisfied. So you don't blame her. Let the spirit of God begin to walk in you. Then he'll begin to teach you what to do. This walks in every now you begin to look at that marriage he will begin to give you ideas like oh okay 20 years in marriage we can increase the spark 50 years in marriage we can increase the spark <clears throat> why we're functioning under his wisdom it is not good for man to be ill i'll make him a help me and a woman you begin to lord i'm a help me to this man it's your wisdom you make him a help me. I'm a help me to this man. You're not just looking and say, see this man said, eh, the other day, I wanted to help him. He said, well, I should go. I'm a woman. Eh, 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 eh. Start quarreling with him. Oh, no, 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 no. Your wisdom says, you make him a help me. I'm a help me to this man. Holy Spirit. See, you are trusted. It is not the quoting of the scripture. It is the putting your mind on him. I'm going to help me, Lord, Holy Spirit. You're teaching me. You're my teacher. You tell me what to do. And the Holy Spirit will begin to give you wisdom. He will wake you up in the night and say, pray. Pray for your husband at this time. And, and you, know, you know, Jesus said he will guide you into all truth. Now, you just find yourself. He wakes you up at 3 a.m. Like, ah, why am I awake? Pray for your husband. Okay? Allah, my casa, eh? Father, I pray for my husband. Stand up. Because you're trying to stand up. And then there's a surge in your spirit. Now you begin to enjoy the prayer. You begin to enjoy the prayer. Like, oh, wow. Wow. Like, you feel it. Oh, thank you. Because you, know, cause, cause you feel, you sense that period. Like, ah, I think I'm spent. Mm -hmm. The following night, suddenly you wake up again. And you look at the time. Two minutes to three. Like, whoa. Why am I awake again? You didn't plan it. Now I'm not talking about what you planned. Why am I awake again? Pray for your husband. Okay. Oh, I remember yesterday. Experience was sweet. 
Ah, thank you, Father. Ela kunde pro de saika. I pray for my husband. Ela ida takusha. Words begin to come. I bless him today. Lord, I declare over his life. I declare. You begin to pray and pray and pray. The third night, you wake up again. Four minutes to three. What's this thing about 3 a.m.? Lord, are you telling me something? Because out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word is established. This has happened twice. Today is the third time. Lord, are you fixing this prayer time for my husband? Now, what's going on? You didn't wake up and say, okay, from every three o'clock. When you do that, it doesn't work most times. You've noticed that. But when you allow the Holy Spirit, now, like, Lord, it seems... There is a something about three o'clock I'm praying for my husband. Lord, I flow with it. I'm going to do this until you tell me otherwise. Because <laughs> I've seen. And, and then you, you, you continue praying and continue praying. And Now, once you've received that instruction like three times, you just know the Lord is showing you a pattern. I'm telling you the truth. So now it becomes a pattern for you. Every 3 a.m., you rise and you begin to pray and you begin to pray and you begin to pray. Now someone else sees you do that. And like, I notice you pray. Yeah, man, every 3 a.m. I pray for my husband. Ah, then the person begins to see changes. The person begins to see things are working. Ah, like, uh -huh, there's something about 3 a.m. praying for your husband. Now, now, even you, you're tempted to say to someone else, I think there is an anointing around 3 a.m. that functions with husbands. Try it. And someone else tries it. Now, because you said it to that person in the spirit by which it came to you, do you know the spirit can minister to someone else too? The person will just wake up at three and say, Ah, I remember what that person told me. Oh, let me pray. And then you begin to pray. I'm telling you the truth. Before you know what's happening, you have a group of women praying at 3 a.m. for their husbands. It started with one person. But then it prospered. Now you see it's turning to become a law. But don't forget that it was the doing of the Holy Spirit in the first place. So when we pray, we don't trust in our own ability to speak in tongues. We trust in His ability to give us words. You can't yield to the Holy Spirit without prayer. You can't. You can't. Pray and pray and pray. And you're not just praying because I can pray. Me, I'm going to pray for five hours today. No, sir. No, that's not how it works. I'm going to fellowship with the Holy Spirit today. Holy Spirit, give me utterance. Put words in my mouth. Concerning this situation, Lord, put words in my mouth. Put words in my mouth. They call parataria. Holy Spirit, I depend on you. You know I dwell, I abide in you, just like Jesus have said. You will guide me into all truth. In Kamano Zakalaba, concerning my job, Lord, the trouble that we're facing at work, Lord, I receive wisdom from you. Lord, Koperea, Benia Daze, Zaikutala, Rande Kune, Amre de Kutu Perete, Ratun Zale, Lade de Liba. Lord, my boss have been really, really upset with me these days. I don't know what's going through his mind, but Lord, Aleko Mandelia. And while you're praying and praying, suddenly, suddenly, you hear the Lord say, make sure you get to office 30 minutes to the time. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, sir. What has happened? The power of the Holy Spirit is working here to solve that problem. You, you wake up at the morning. The Lord said I should get to the office. Ah, let me, let me get to the office. Hey, you're here. Yeah. Um, okay. The next day again. Hey, you're here. You, you come early. Yes, I just um, decided to be coming early. Then, next thing. Ah, now that you come early, um, this is what we're going to plan. Before that's come, let's plan. Before you know what's happening. So I, used, I thought you were angry with me. No, I was not angry with you. Well, you don't give me assignment. Yeah, because I, I hardly see you come early to me. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and that's how the Holy Spirit does his thing. And he's working in you. Bringing these things to pass. Brothers and sisters, you can find favor anywhere with anybody through the Holy Spirit. 
Our time is up. Praise God. I bless you today. All these months we've been dwelling on this series of being a witness. I declare over your life, you will witness Jesus. You will witness the love of God. You will witness the character. Everything about Jesus will be seen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Have the best weekend you've ever known in your life. I'll see you on Monday. Praise God. Bye.